Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. 645 on this Friday morning. Meteorologist the second Gonzalez once again tracking the weather from home. Other parts of Florida right mm -hmm. now dealing with some severe weather. Any chance we're going to see that down here, Lisette? Yes, there is a chance as we head into tonight, but especially tomorrow and Sunday that we could see some strong to severe storms. As you take a look at the rest of the state, already a tornado watch issued until 11 a.m. for parts of Central and North Florida. You can see the front draped across the southeast. That's going to continue to sag south across the state. So very moist and unstable atmosphere will lead us to some active weather as we head into the weekend. But already this morning, we're starting to see a few showers developing on that breeze out of the south. Uh, some of the showers right now just hugging the coast and near Fort Lauderdale and most of the action staying offshore and just to the east. In Aventura, we did have a shower move across your neighborhood as well as Liberty City. And now we're starting to see some showers headed towards North Miami, Kendall, the hammocks, the country walk, seeing some of that rain that just pushed in around Princeton and the upper keys dealing with some rain as well. Because of that breeze out of the south, anywhere five to 10 miles an hour, it feels really muggy out there. We're already into the low 80s. Also mostly cloudy as we take a view from our Broward camera in Fort Lauderdale and also an overcast view from our Key West camera. Look at those temperatures already low 80s in Broward date and through the keys and you add in the humidity and it's already feeling like the upper 80s and the low 90s because it is so sticky out there. And that's not all. High soar to 94 this afternoon. In Miami, we could be breaking an old record of 94 degrees. Set back in 1991, it's going to feel like the upper 90s and the low 100. So it's better to just be inside, in safer at home and in the air conditioning because it's going to feel like summer. We should see average highs in the low to mid 80s, but instead record breaking heat possible and some late day storms. Out on the water, small craft should exercise caution, a moderate chop on the base. And tonight, an Overnight, we'll see showers and storms moving in with the upper 70s. Tomorrow, though, a heads up, the Storm Prediction Center is forecasting a marginal risk of some strong to severe storms, so we could see pockets of heavy rain, lightning, gusty winds, and even small hail, and the slight risk of funnel clouds. The future radar is showing us how on and off again throughout the day for your Saturday. It's looking soggy, and we could see some heavy, heavy rain around late morning, middle of the day, and even through the afternoon, so you won't have that fear of missing out. You can just hunker down, stay home, download the free CBS4 weather app, and you can track all the action right in the palm of your hand. We are going to see the chance for some scattered storms Sunday with a low 90s through the weekend, but then not as hot once the front pushes through. We'll see the upper 80s on Monday, cooler start on Tuesday with the 60s and highs in the low to mid 80s.